All right, you guys, here's a, here's how you bleed or prime, or whatever you want to call it, uh, the master cylinder um, to get brake fluid in the, in, the, in the pistons and remove all of the air. So I had these red fittings from previous master cylinders, but the new master cylinder gives you these little funky ones. And uh, you stick this side in the little portholes and you run the tubing on this end and back into the master cylinder well I didn't want crap spilling everywhere so I used the old fittings that I had from a previous master cylinder that came in years ago that I did but uh, kind of cool the way they set it up but what you got to do is Got to fill the master cylinder reservoir after you flush all the old dirt out of it. Got to clean most of the dirt out. Uh, most master cylinder reservoirs are full of crap in the bottom. So after you dump all the old stuff out, you just uh, put fresh fluid in it. Not very much. Rinse it out, rinse it out, rinse it out till you get as clean as possible. And then add all your new uh, brake fluid. I prefer to use uh, full synthetic brake fluid. Um, this is, this master cylinder is on an RV, sits right next to the exhaust manifold, has a small heat shield, but, uh, you know, brake fluid eventually breaks down like any oil with heat. So, uh, synthetics just last longer. Uh, I prefer the Amsoil synthetic, but, you know, you guys could use whatever you want. So after you fill the reservoir... You take a screwdriver, you shove it in this hole here where the piston's at, and you push it. And you keep pushing it, pushing it, pushing it until all the air blows through these lines. Once, once all the air and the little bubbles blow through, you see the, the hoses are done inside the reservoir. So when you let go of the screwdriver, it sucks fluid back in this line, back in the line. So you keep doing it until you don't see any bubbles, any air, and that's when you know that there's uh, no air in this housing now. So that should do it. I leave. I'm going to leave these on until I remount this master cylinder because it's underneath the cab uh, behind the driver's tire. It's kind of a pain in the ass to get to, so I'm going to leave those fittings in, uh, remount this. Uh, the brake lines will be right next to where they connect right here, so I don't lose a lot of fluid. I'm going to put the cap back on after, and uh, that should be it. I really don't have to, shouldn't have to bleed the lines at each uh, wheel cylinder or uh, uh, caliper. Um, I capped, I capped the original brake lines when I took them off of here, I capped them with plugs so they wouldn't get any air in them. So once I put them back on here, um, I'll leave it loose for a little bit, just a little bit of fluid leaks out. And when I reconnect it, it should be fine. Okay, you guys, good luck. Have a good day.